Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my memory spread and this is for the week of February 24th through March 1st. I'm not too far behind so I'm really excited to get this going. And for this week I have a kit from Happy Sherpa Papery. I'm not sure if the haul with this kit has gone up on my channel yet. I'm not quite sure about the order that I'm uploading my videos, um, but in case you didn't get a chance to see that, I will definitely go over what's included in the kit as I usually do. So this kit came with a set of some icons, date covers, and date dots. And um, here we have some little things and some glitter headers. On this page, we have full boxes, and this is a very wintry kit. Um, this is actually super perfect for this week because I actually took a work trip to Utah this week, and it wasn't actively snowing, but there was like a little bit of snow still on the ground and like up in the mountains and stuff. And so I feel like that's the most snow I'll be seeing in a while. So um, I'm glad I can pull in this kit, which has some of these little snowy scenes. Here we have a page of the full box checklists. We've got some washi strips and the bottom washi. On this page, we have the headers and quarter box. No, these are like third boxes and half boxes. And the last page here has different size flags. We've got check flags, a weekend banner, some icons, bill do stickers, and sidebar trackers, as well as four quarter boxes here at the bottom. I did want to mention that this kit was sent to me to try out. Um, the shop owner was super sweet and she thought of me and sent along a little surprise package. So I really, really appreciate that. And I just um, thought this kit was so perfect for this upcoming week. So I decided to pull it in. So without further ado, I definitely want to go ahead and get started. Um, and I'm going to start by placing down my bottom washi. While I start to build my spread doing the bottom washi, the sidebar, and the date covers, I just wanted to take a moment to touch base with you all and see how you guys are doing in light of the current um, pandemic that we are experiencing. I know for a lot of us, it's been a really crazy week with everything shutting down and um, the numbers of people who have been infected with the COVID-19 increasing. So I urge all of you guys to please stay safe and stay healthy, you know, stay indoors as much as possible, um, just so that you are not at risk of catching anything or transmitting it to anybody else. Um, so with that said, um, given the current circumstances, my school is closed for the next three weeks and um, I may have to go back to work in a couple weeks. They still haven't really quite figured out the details yet for staff, but um, either way, I will have plenty of time at home to be able to work on videos. So hopefully I'll be able to put out some new content. And um, yeah, I would love to hear from you guys on how things are going where you are, um, what level of you know quarantine, or emergency actions I've been taken given where you are. And um, I mean, one thing I appreciate so much about this community is that it's pretty much all online. So luckily we can still continue to do this and continue to enjoy this hobby during this hard time, which I hope brings at least some peace and comfort. Um, so anyways, um, like you've seen, I've placed down my bottom washi and built my sidebar. For this week, I decided to leave the February hexagon at the top um, because it did actually match my kit very well this week with that dark blue and um, it's been a while since I've used a kit that matched the hexagon so I was actually pretty excited not to have to white out that whole thing. Um, then I put down the date covers as well as the date dots that came in the kit. On Monday, I first placed down a glitter header and then I used a quarter box with a coffee sticker from Paper and Milk to mark that I grabbed some coffee on Monday. Um, I decided to use my Pilot brush lettering pen for this week so you will see me using that throughout the spread. I then used this little flag that came with the kit to mark a morning meeting that I had. I do end up changing how I mark that meeting, um, so you'll see that in a little bit, but the next thing I do is place down a half box with this working girl sticker from Happy Dia Stickers to mark that I had a busy day at work. I then used a full box, and then this is where I switched out that flag for a paperclip bow sticker from Very Cute Designs instead. At the bottom, I put down a little things label and pulled in the shoe sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark a workout that I did that afternoon. And then I found this little phone icon that came with the kit, which I used to mark FaceTiming my parents. I then moved to Tuesday and I decided to start by using a today header at the very top. Then I placed down a flag with a pencil sticker from Nikki Plus 3 to mark another morning meeting that I had that day. I then placed down a full box and underneath that I used a quarter box with a laptop sticker from, um, that's from Nicole Hutch Designs to mark a meeting that I had that afternoon and then I did have an IEP meeting after that so I used this little IEP flag from Lily Grove Designs. 
I then placed down a half box and pulled in this really cute Gertie the Unicorn sticker from Willow Wallow Co. And I used that to mark my workout on Tuesday evening. And then I spent the rest of the night binging Gilmore Girls, which was lovely. I had some me time because my boyfriend had something to do for work. And to mark that, I used a washi strip with a TV sticker from Brandy's shop. On Wednesday, I first placed down a full box at the very bottom, and then I looked over my spread and decided to change some things around. I think um, the biggest reason was because I needed to shift the glitter headers, and so I put down a glitter header on top of the full box on Monday, and then I used a glitter header at the very top of Tuesday and placed one on top of the full box again on Wednesday. At the top of Wednesday, I placed down a today header and then I used a quarter box with this burger sticker from Paper and Milk to mark that I stopped by Chick-fil-A in the morning because I had a coupon for a free breakfast sandwich and it was like expiring at the end of February. So I had to go and grab it before it expired and it was really delicious and just like a perfect little breakfast snack. And then I placed down the glitter header I initially used on top of the full box and I cut up a three heart checklist to mark some meetings that I had um, on that day. It was definitely a busy day with with lots of meetings. Um, then underneath that, I decided to work from the bottom up because I wanted to see how much space I had to mark different things. I used, I think this was like a bill due sticker, but I covered up the text with this little packing sticker from Paper and Milk to mark that I had a pack for our Utah trip the next day. And then I pulled in this adorable cooking sticker from Mochi Kichi to mark that I made a new recipe on Wednesday. Um, I made some carbonara pasta, which actually turned out really good. So I was pretty proud of myself. And then on that quarter box, I wanted to mark my workout so I pulled in these dumbbell stickers from a shop that's no longer open. On Thursday, I first placed down a full box at the very top, and then I used this airplane sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark our flight out to Utah. Um, my boyfriend did come with me for this work trip, which I really appreciated because I honestly didn't want to stay in like an unfamiliar place um, in a hotel room by myself. So I was thankful that he could come along. I wrote down our flight on the little thing, and I ended up decided to switch out the full box for this other floral one instead. Um, I think I wanted more light blue in that top section, so I decided to pull that in. We flew to Salt Lake City, so I put down this little bow flag and I lettered Hello Utah. It was really hard because I had to letter over some whiteout, so it kind of looked wonky and I do fix it later on. Um, the first thing we did was grab some tacos. These were like little street side tacos for a dollar. They were so delicious. And then we also stopped by Epic Brewing Co. because our friend highly recommended it and it turned out to be so good. Every single beer we tried was amazing. Um, to mark that, I used a half box with this beer sticker from Paper and Milk. I then pulled in this Polaroid picture sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams to mark that we walked around downtown and then went to grab some more beer at this um, other bar. And um, I later do switch that up because I wanted to use that photo sticker on Friday instead. I realized that I ran out of space to mark everything I wanted, so I decided to shift everything up, and this is where I ended up rewriting Hello Utah. I just um, wrote it on the corner of one of the sticker pages and cut it out um, and just stuck it directly onto my planner. At the very bottom, I put down a glitter header with a quarter box to mark that we drove out to Provo because that's actually where my work trip was. And it wasn't too bad of a drive. It was about an hour um, with some traffic. And to mark that drive, I used a car sticker from Nicole Hutch Designs. Once we got to Provo, we checked into our hotel and I didn't have space to mark that. So I decided to leave that out, but we did go grab dinner at this really, really good Indian place. It was called Bombay House. And so I pulled in this Indian curry sticker from Hey Soul Sticker. On Friday, I decided to start by placing down the work header, um, which I thought was appropriate because Friday was the day that I was doing all my work-related tasks. In the morning, I had to go observe at a treatment center out there, and so I put that on a quarter box, and the pencil sticker is from my spoiled planner. I then met up with my boyfriend and we got some lunch. Um, we had some tacos, so I used this taco sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that. And then I used a glitter header with a flag from the kit. And I think that paper pencil sticker is also from the kit. It was one of the icons that was included. And I used that to mark my second observation that I had to do for work. I then placed down a full box and then again realized that I didn't have enough space to mark everything that I wanted later in the evening. So I go ahead and start consolidating everything and um, just trying to move everything up so I could create some more space. 
Like I mentioned earlier, I moved that Polaroid sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams onto Friday um, because I wanted to mark that we went sightseeing around the Provo area. And then um, on Thursday, I decided to use this beer sticker from Happy Sherpa Papery instead. We also decided to check out the Life Science Museum that night, which was um, on the BYU campus, and that was pretty cool. And then we grabbed some dinner at a Japanese barbecue place. It was like an all-you-can-eat barbecue, and it was so delicious. Um, to mark that, I used the half box. And again, the brush lettering pen I'm using is from Pilot. On Saturday, I first placed down a glitter header at the top, and then I layered this um, suitcase sticker from Sweet Bean Plans with a little flag from the kit to mark that we packed and checked out that morning. I then placed down a full box, but then I decided to move it to the very bottom instead, and then I used a half box with this Polaroid camera sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that we went and visited the Great Salt Lake because we figured we were already around there, um, and we were only able to see a very small part of it, but it was still cool getting to see it, and then um, we went and grabbed some brunch before we flew home, so I used this brunch date sticker, which is from a shop that's no longer open. To mark our flight home, I used a quarter box and that airplane sticker is from my spoiled planner. And then once we got home, we actually went to celebrate a friend's birthday. We went to a Vietnamese restaurant that was like super good. Um, we had this like seven course beef meal, which I've never had before, but it was amazing. And um, I pulled in this Vietnamese food sticker, which is from Hazel Sticker. Moving on to Sunday, I first started by placing down a half box at the top. I used the sticker with the cozy mochis, that's from Mochi Kiji, to mark that we were super lazy on Sunday. It also rained on Sunday, so it just made for a really perfect lazy day indoors. Um, that rain sticker is from, I think it's from Whimsical Cat Studio. And then I put down a full box and pulled in this film script sticker. I think that's from Echo Hui Craft Co. And I also paired it with this Planning Girl sticker from Paper Bear Co. I then placed down a glitter header, but then I decided to trim down a little bit of the full box so that I had some room. Um, then under the glitter header, I used a flag to mark that we looked at houses that day, um, just like listings online, not like going to open houses. Um, we are finally at the point where we can definitely start um, thinking about buying a house. And so that's been very exciting. So we're just kind of starting that process. And then I just relaxed for a good portion of the day. So I put that on a quarter box. That relaxed sticker is from Thule plans, I believe. And then at the very end of the night, we watched the chef show. So I used a flag with this um, popcorn emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. I then moved back to my sidebar and go ahead and track all my workouts, my happy moments, and my dinners for the week. And even though there were only six hearts for the happy moments, I just made it work with seven different things. Um, I just didn't really like follow the hearts, I mean. Um, so anyways, now I'm just showing you guys these stickers that I have left in this kit. And I decided not to pull in any foils, as you can probably see. And so I didn't do any kind of wiggles, but I did still want to give you guys a closer look at the spread just so you can see some of those details. And yeah, that is pretty much it for this week. I definitely had a fun week traveling for work, which is not something I get to do often. So it's kind of a treat when I get that opportunity. Um, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys are doing well wherever you are and, you know, just taking extra precautions to stay safe and healthy during this time. I'm putting all my positive thoughts out there um, for each and every one of you. So um, anyways, thanks again so much for watching. Um, hopefully I'll be uploading a lot more videos this week. And yeah, let me know if you have any questions and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.